Hello everyone, I am a G end. Step 3, we'll create the volume of the fender. This is the volume of the basic body created in step 2. Double click the center or edge, end to delete it. Displace the canvas. Select the right of the view cube. There is a gap between the template and the face at this point. Keep the inner edges, to adjust the outer edges. You delete the side faces before you can change the edges. Currently, the side face is just a vertical plane, so you can modify the top edge and create it again by extruding it. Move the outer back end point position to the template location. If you move one by one in this way, you will not be able to keep the smoothness. I will tell you, super easy fix steps. Pick the first edge to modify. Then, hold on shift and double click the last edge, to select all the edges in between. Then right click on the mouse and select edit form. Select the set pipot icon next to the manipulator. Moving the cursor to the tip of an edge in this way, causes the manipulator origin to snap to the vertex. Once snapped, click and select the tick icon. And if you select this vertical scale and move it up or down, you can modify the curvature to be flat. Select the right side of the view cube, and select the vertical scale to fit the template. When the position of the curve is fixed, press ALT again and push the side faces out. Make the bottom line straight on the vertical scale. The next step is to split the faces. Double click the bottom edge to select it. Right click the mouse and select insert edge. Overlay the position of the edge on the template and click OK. Repeat the same process to insert two edges. Switch the view to front and create a section of the body. Double click the top edge to move it outward like this. Fit to the cross section of the template. Hide the template and adjust the section plane this way. The cross section of the body side is complete. Adjust the position and number of vertical edges as well. Select an edge, and right click and select slide edge. Adjust the edges to match the template. If there is a wide space between the faces, insert edges so that they are evenly spaced. Let's do it in order to insert the necessary edges first, and remove the unnecessary edges later.
When you have finished adjusting the edges, adjust the corners. After adjusting in the top view like this, check the smoothness of the edges in the rear view. Let's move on to make a fender flare. Select the insertion point from the toolbar. Create a line at the base of the flare along the template like this. Select the face on the middle side of the next created edge and delete it. Next, adjust the direction of the edge adjacent to the hall arch. Select the insert point and insert the edge like this. Put new edges first, and then remove unwanted edges. It is very important that these edges point toward the wheel center. Reinsert the edges on the back side as well. The rear fender replaces the edge horizontally like a template. After reinserting edges, to delete unnecessary edges. When you finish inserting edges, adjust the section in the rear view this way. Check the line of the wheel arch in the top view. Select edges between. Snap the pivot forward to scale this way. Double click the edge of the wheel arch. Select edit form with right mouse click. Press alt and extrude the face horizontally. Select Set Pivot and Snap to Bottom Edge of Edge. Next, adjust the scale in the vertical direction like this without pressing Alt. This adjustment is rough and OK. Select an edge to make the view cube top. Move outward. Then adjust it to a straight line so that it is on the scale. Move to the template position. Hides the body. Select Create Sketch, click Work Plane, and then select a spline curve. Create a curve for the wheel arch like this. Adjust to match the curves of the template. Move the created curve outside the wheel arch. Displace the body. And, select the pull command from the toolbar.
select Vertex. If you hold down Shift and double click on the last vertex, you can select them all like this. Change the target select in the options menu from Auto to Select Target. When you select a curve, the vertex snaps to the curve like this. As you can see, Bartek crosses. If you change the pole type to a control points, it will match nicely. Adjusting the edges of the body side in this way will smooth the inverse earls. Set it to the rear view and adjust the position of the bottom edge like this. Check the highlights. Reset the defect with the repair body. Create a small side of the opening in this way. Extrude the surface larger like this. Create an edge at the target location at the insert edge. Then delete the parts you don't want and you're done. Select the second edge to select the crisp edge. Let's challenge the front wheel arch with the same process.